Previously on To The House. We looked down and his elbow, I mean, is just out of socket. All I could think about was pain. Here we are again, and we're in the middle of a, a hole to try to dig ourselves out of, and we're not good at digging ourselves out of holes. There are times when I thought about, I don't know if I want to keep going. I don't know if I want to go on. You know, that goes into the gift and the curse of the passion of football. We traveled to Indiana this week for Valpo, and we really need this win. I think it'll be good for us to get away, to get away from the home crowd, get away from uh, people that know us, and go in there and try to band together as a us against the world mentality. So, you know, that's kind of the game plan going in, and I hope it pans out that way. Going into the last three games, it's kind of like highs and lows. There's certain people on the team that are down. There's certain people on the team who just want to give it their all. You know, after the Stetson loss, it really did bring us together because Coach Kelly is starting to, you know, he's just enforcing, you know, have fun, enjoy your time with your team. Good. You just went and played. You didn't hesitate. You just played. You were really good. You are the best player on the field that day. Good decision. We get our game plan together. We know on defense they're going to run the football. Good. Take care of your bodies. Go get you a lift in or go get treatment. Whatever's going to help you out. And then, uh, and then we'll come back Wednesday ready to go. Then we got Wednesday and Thursday to get it in. Hey, family on one, family on one, two, one. Family. Actually, think he has a lot of potential as well. He's just he just got put into a bad situation. Like he's a great kicker. Well, he works on it. He does work on it every day. What's it like being a kicker for Coach Kelly? It's interesting because Coach doesn't kick or punt. Kicker who loves to kick and punt. So you had to adapt to the change. You know, do a lot of onsides. Monday, I, I only want to make practice. I only make practice clock. I'm going home Saturday because my mom got chemotherapy. Uh -huh. And Monday is like her big remission day. Okay. Where you live? Conyers, Georgia. Okay. Remind me Monday. Text me. Yes, sir. Okay. Thanks. Good job on the kicks. Playing college football is already a lot on your mental, focusing on class and football, but I was also focusing on how my mom is doing. We're gonna make a shrimp pasta, actually. mom in my head also is the motivation of she helped me get to college and she's fighting through her sickness so the most I can do is perform my best ability and make her proud of me. I lost my head, lost weight, I lost over 30 pounds but I never um, lost hope and my faith. He called and checked on me every day and every other weekend he come to check on me because I couldn't go anywhere so God has been good and faithful to us. It's my, it's my son right oh here, my, my baby. God. He's so good, he's so behaving, and so proud of you, son. So proud of you. You just make yourself proud. And make yes. God proud of you. I love you so much. <laughs> Let's have a good practice today. Chris, we got nice weather. We'll be in and out, getting it done. Have a little fun, enjoy yourself. Let's make this a good one. That's not terrible. We're calling this queso. We eat the chip, chip dip, chip dip. On queso, you gotta not let that guy run out there and catch it. You know, going to the Valparaiso game, we're, we're, we've got so many injuries now, especially in the secondary. Some guys that are out with strep throat, some guys that are out with injuries, and other guys just left. We're bad. 
Well, other than just freak accidents. You know, we lost Tyrese early in the season, his ACL, Nagy with the elbow, Tyler obviously with his knee. We're on a skeleton crew. Ah, too late. Hey, once you screw around, please don't throw just a random dump ball up there where it gets freaking picked. It's over. It's freaking over what you had to do that. Just run the play or eat it or throw it away or something. In Ren's head, I do know his buttons to push are this. He cares. So if you say something you're doing is going to affect the team greatly, he's going to do everything he can to fix that. Can we can we try now? Can we do better, Ren? That freaking s Not a good look. <laughs> throw it to the other team. We're going to get beat by 1,000. 1,000. Good effort. It's like some bad news bears. Good. That's better. Going to Valpo, you know, Coach Jeff pulled me aside and told me that I would be starting at safety. I had never played safety in my whole career of football. Hey, so what am I supposed to be uh, pressed up with the tight end? And what am I? And then close and base. Okay. Receiver, tight end, and he's on the line. Then I press him. He's faking an A-gap blitz and a slot yeah, run. I know, that's what I'm saying. He's faking an inside blitz. They go hut. The guy's seven yards from him, running a five round. He's chasing him seven yards behind the whole way. He's got no chance to get there. No chance in hell. Trying to get ready for Valpo, there's a lot of, you know, arguing from Jeff and Coach Kelly. No, he, he was faking an A-gap blitz. He was supposed to be running that. He ran it that one. He did not. Coach, I watched him. He ran the freaking five. You know, no matter who it is on his staff, he's going to get on to you because he expects perfection. Well, you get you can get pissed at me if you want to, but it doesn't freaking matter if we're going to let him run free for touchdowns. We're not going to let him freaking play. play. There's always going to be tensions on a coaching staff because you're together so much, you're working so hard, and you're tired. Everybody in, let's go. Make sure you're taking care of yourself. I'm telling you, vitamin D and zinc together are really good. Make sure you're drinking plenty of fluids, too, and lots of water. All that stuff will help you. You probably think, I don't mind being sick, till you get it, then you go, I guess it sucks. Alex Harriet, call it up. Getting a win here would mean a lot, so we're, we really have to fight here if we want to stay in this one. Coming into Valpo, this is really our chance to, you know, just finally get a win. I don't care how the season is gone, I don't care what's going on, we can change it today. It's easy, it's easy to do it the right way. It's so hard and stupid to do it the wrong way, and we've been doing it the wrong way for too long. This can change today, and we're gonna change it. So act like it, and let's get right, fellas, all right? Let's go, man. We're beat up, we're hurt, we're missing guys. We're just gonna see what kind of man you are. Let's see, you know, some of you guys think, you think you're think you a man. Some of you wanna be a man. If you're a man, you go out there and fight every play. If you're not, you don't, that's it. We have a lot of guys out. A lot of guys gotta be ready to jump in if the next guy goes out. That's the way of this game. It's a tough man's ball game. Let's go. Presbyterian College is taking the field, and we're ready to go. I drop back and get some pressure, just see a void open up in the middle of the field. And Hefley's going to step up. He's going to run for it across the 45-40. Got a lot of room to the 30. Getting outside of the 25-20. Hefley's going to score. He's going to score, and he scores. Rand has this amazing run for a touchdown. Puts us on the board first. Good start to the game. Kyron gets the two-point conversion, and you know, we're, we're in this. They give it to Washington, going off left side. He is hit at the line of scrimmage. He spins off a tackle. He'll go to the PC sideline, get to the 30. Stood up around the two. He brings the tackle, gets to the one, and he's in the end zone. We got the lead. Let's play like we've got the freaking lead. We still have a chance to prove the system can work at the D1 level and prove that we can win as a team. 
not the guy. Washington on the reception. Oracleo from seven yards out for the Beacon touchdown. They had some players that could go, and you know we had a little drought. They end up coming back and scoring 28 unanswered. Grant throws it to Jay Jones, and he scores and has a touchdown, and he just gives our momentum up, and we're just ready to keep going. The defense is able to, you know, make a really big stop, get the offense the ball back. Yeah, I'll say, We expected Belpo to run a lot, and they did. And Hefley looking right, looking right, and he'll be sacked. Rand doesn't always have a lot of time. Rand! God help me, you can't take a sack! Three wide receiver set, Mims will turn, he'll look, he'll throw it left side, swinging out, caught. Washington for the vegan touchdown. You know, we had a couple plays on defense where we had a guy lined up wrong and didn't know till the play was over with. Can we can we try now? Can we do better, Red? Does that, that freaking s Red has to be on what he has to do for us to come out with it. You know, he has to be able to read a defense. He has to know all the reads. He has to be able to throw that ball in a certain situation where it really matters. And that'll be the end of the first half. That ball is picked off by Keegan Turner, his first pick of the year. Red! the freak was that? Next time, on to the house. Do y'all know we can win this freaking game? And after that, Jay Jones decided just to go dumb. Going to the next game against Maris, you know, it's our last home game, senior day. You know, we're hurting all over. My knee popped and it hurts right there. I've had a nagging knee injury that's just really been bothering me. They smell blood in the water. They think they can win, but we ought to be smelling the same thing. Yo, Megan, what you got on? I mean, besides this video on my laptop, I'm rocking the Star Play Collection. Sheesh, that's a banger. Where'd you get that? The Overtime Shop, duh! Just click right here and get fed like me.